Hey kids, welcome to Mal TV. Today we're going to look at this denim. It's my small denim, so let's get on with it. And here we are. This is my small Levi's under denim. It is the uh, waistcoat of the uh, bunch, it is the smallest one, and it is designed to uh, be worn just over a t shirt. And as such, it doesn't really accommodate a hoodie underneath it, and certainly wouldn't uh, fit a leather jacket. So it's an under denim. Um, that just means that you ain't going to see it over a coat, basically. But um, due to its size, it's only so many patches you can fit on it. As you see, I've got these two round ones on the shoulders, and then followed by the two squarey rectangular ones, and then two long ones and uh, four more squares. And that just fills up the front nicely. Um, I haven't really bothered with anything on the pockets as such, because the flaps on the top would uh, obscure the lower patch. So I haven't really bothered with that, as you can see. Just there's just not enough there really to uh, warrant it, and it's a bit of a tricky job. And the same applies with the sides. Um, if you don't put things on the sides, it just makes it a bit more comfortable and less bulky. Now, if we move to the back, you can see uh, I've gone for colours on the back, and uh, there's no large back patch filling up the entirety of the rear panel. And the reason for that is it would be a bit uncomfortable and bulky. Um, instead, I thought I would go for these uh, smaller ones, which obviously fit in to the size of it, with the exception of the larger runner patch, which is the one at the bottom. Now, um, the runner is a good size, and I went for it to be at the bottom rather than at the top there, because my hair actually obscures all of that part of the jacket anyway, and I like the possessed patch, so I put it down there just so you could see it more often. Um, besides that, I opted for these uh, round ones at the top, they just fitted in nicely, and then um, ones of similar size, but not identical size, down the sides. As you can see, the uh, White Wizard and uh, Public Enemy patches on the second row are a bit different, but they work, you know, they, they fit together. And that's the most important thing. You just have to space them out, see what patches you've got to hand, and just see where they go. I mean, if you look at this vintage Black Sabbath patch, I mean, that's put three patches on one side and two on the other, but it doesn't offend me visually that's fine, it's not something I would have done normally, but I simply had to work with the patches I had to hand, and you will too. Depending how you do your jacket, you might get all the patches before you start, or you might build it up bit by bit. But for me, I just grabbed a fistful, because I've always got hundreds, and put the ones down that I wanted, and filled up the back. So that was that really. <laughs> 